All right, one way we can find missing angle measures in triangles is to use the exterior angle theorem. And the exterior angle te theorem tells you that the measure of an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. And the remote interior angles are the interior angles of the triangle that are not next to the exterior angle. So we have two remote interior angles and the sum of these must be equal to the exterior angle. So we can then say that 9x plus 4 plus 4x plus 1 has to equal 83 degrees. Now we can solve for x by combining like terms. 9x's and 4x's is 13x. Positive 4 and a positive 1 gives me a positive 5. So we got 13x plus 5 equals 83. Now this is a two-step equation. We want to get the x by itself. So we're going to first subtract 5 from both sides. Give us 13x equals 83 minus 5, 78. And then we divide both sides by 13. And we get x equals 6. So now we know that x is 6, we can plug 6 in to either of these. 9 times 6 is 54 plus 4. So angle A is going to be 58 degrees. And if we go with plug in the 6 here, 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1. Angle B would be 25 degrees. So now we've used the exterior angle theorem to find the measures of angle A and angle B. And if we want to take it one step further, we can use the triangle sum theorem, which states that the sum of the three angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees to find the measure of angle C. So we can add the two angles we got, 58 and 25. 8 and 5 is 13. Gives us 83 degrees. So we know that these two angles have a sum of 83 degrees. 180 minus 83 is going to give us 97. So angle C must be 97 degrees. And that's how you can use the exterior angle theorem as well as the triangle sum theorem to find missing angle measures in triangles.